This is part 35 and the last video in this Razor Pages tutorial. So let's wrap up this course. Why should we use ASP.NET Core Razor Pages framework? Well, it's a new technology to build page focused web applications quicker and more efficiently with clean separation of concerns. Razor Pages are introduced in .NET Core 2.0. It's lightweight, flexible and provides the developer the full control over the rendered HTML. So the recommendation from Microsoft is to use Razor Pages if we are building a web UI, that is web pages and ASP.NET Core MVC if we are building a web API. This is a 5 hours course and contains 35 clips. Project source code is available for download at this URL. So if you navigate there, you will find this file resapagestutorial.rar. Click on that. Since it's a rare file, we can't preview it. That's fine. We just want to download it. So click this button right here. Download complete. It's a small file, just under 2 megabytes. So depending on your internet bandwidth, it must be downloaded in a few seconds. I'll have this download link available both in the description of this video as well as on my blog. Now let's open the folder that contains our downloaded file. It's a rare file, so right click and select this option, extract to Razor Pages tutorial. All the project files are extracted into this folder. So if you open that, we have our solution folder. If you open that, we have the Visual Studio solution file. So let's right click on this and open it with Visual Studio 2019. While Visual Studio is opening this, let's flip over to the slides and here are the two softwares that we need to set up and run this project on our local machine. We need Visual Studio 2019 and .NET Core SDK 3.0. We discussed how to download and install these two softwares in detail in part 1 of this video series. If you are setting up this project for the first time on your local machine, you will not have the underlying database. So to simulate that, I am going to delete the database that I already have. So for that, let's go to SQL Server Object Explorer. If you don't have this window here, click on View and then select this option, SQL Server Object Explorer. Expand SQL Server, Local DB, MS SQL Local DB and then under Databases, I have HRDB. I want to delete this. So let's right click and then select this option, Delete. Check this checkbox, close existing connections and click OK. In this project, we are using code first approach. So we want our application to create the database and then apply all the migrations that we have in this migrations folder. And that's pretty straightforward. All we need to do for that is execute this update database command. So from within Visual Studio, we execute this command from the package manager console. And before you execute this command, make sure you have the web project that is Razor Pages tutorial selected from this default project drop down list. And the command is update database. The database is created and all our migrations are applied. At this point, we should be able to run our project by pressing Ctrl F5. We are on the home page. Let's navigate to the employees list page. This page is empty. That's because we don't have any employees in the employees database table. So let's add a new employee. I'm going to call him John. I have made all the employee photos available in the images folder inside www root. So to get to this folder on your local machine, go to the downloads folder. On my machine, the downloads folder is C users user downloads. And if you remember, this is the folder into which we have extracted our project files. This is the solution folder and here we have the project folder. Inside that, www root images. Here you will find all the employee images. We want john.png. So I'm going to select that and then click save. There we go. We have our first employee created and if we take a look at the employees database table, we have that record here as expected. All the videos, slides and notes are available at this URL. I'll have this link available both in the description of this video as well as on my blog.
What do you want to learn next? I have two choices for you, Azure or Blazor. Please let me know your choice using the comment section below this video. I hope you have enjoyed this course as much as I did creating it. Thank you and goodbye for now.